Sorry, this is not the Tandy Strophies video yet, but we will be discussing bizarre reptilian tetrapods with insanely long necks, so think of this as a pre-game for Tanny Strophius? I don't know. But don't worry, Tanny is on its way. A few weeks ago, I saw this image on the internet. I'm not really sure where the original source for this image is, so I can't really credit you, but I think that will be irrelevant when we examine this thing further on. For starters, it depicts a tortoise with an extremely lengthy neck, and it looks crazy. As best as I can make out, the neck is longer than the overall length of the rest of the body, and it appears it is not really supported by really, well, anything. It has no muscles that are really attaching it to the inside of the shell, as you might expect in a real animal. The source of the image I found only cites the name of the animal pictured, claiming it is a smooth snake neck turtle. So, the big question remains, is this a real organism or a fake? Well, I didn't know at the time, but like any good scientist or investigator, I decided to investigate on my own. So, first off, let's examine the claim that this is a smooth snake neck turtle. This animal is obviously not a turtle, but is a tortoise. The thing is, the word turtle only refers to only to aquatic water-dwelling testudines, while tortoises refers to primarily land-dwelling testudines. We can tell from the shape of the shell, limbs, feet, and head that this is in fact a tortoise. The shape of the beak especially allows us to tell that this animal has evolved to eat vegetation such as grass and leaves, like that of a tortoise, as opposed to fish and other aquatic diets, like that of a turtle. In fact, the smooth snake neck turtle doesn't exist as a species. Snake neck turtle refers to the family Cheglodi, a group of aquatic turtles found in mainly tropical environments around the world, including the eastern long neck turtle and the Matamata. -mata. Holy crap, that's an awesome name. It is somewhat interesting to note that the members of the group with some of the longest necks, like the eastern long neck turtle, has a neck so long it cannot retract into its shell and must resort to bending its neck around the shell, and also it is able to produce a smelly fluid that drives away predators when threatened, similar to that of a skunk. Well, anywho, regardless, all these turtles look nothing like the tortoise in the image, and it can be assumed that this source just made up a name to throw off and deceive people into believing this image is of a legit species. So we know it isn't a long-necked turtle, but what about a long-necked tortoise? Long necks and tortoises have been exhibited, for instance the long-necked Galapagos tortoise, also known as saddlebacks, evolved long necks in response to the difference in vegetation on drier, grassless islands in the archipelago. These long-necked giants use their lengthy necks to browse at higher elevations of vegetation, giving them a wider feeding range. The long necks are also used by these tortoises to display dominance by challenging rivals in battles of vertical reach when fighting for status. Could this guy just be a bizarre result of evolution in an environment where food is extremely high up, and the longer the necks, the sexier you are? Well, as cool as that might sound, no. The animal depicted in the image is a clever photoshop of a red-footed tortoise. You can tell this by simply looking at the coloration and shape of the face and shell, as well as another reason I'll examine in a second. Real red-footed tortoises cannot stretch their necks out that far, this only being about as far as they can reach. <clears throat> so, sadly, this guy doesn't exist. The final nail on the coffin of this conclusion is the fact the original unedited source of this image can be found on a website discussing sweaters for tortoises. No, really. Where it shows the same exact red-footed tortoise without the exceptionally long neck, with the same exact leg position, shell shape, shell coloration, etc, etc. The editor just recolored a few parts of the image, added a few pieces of grass to hide the feet, and of course, the long neck, and then reverse the image to throw people off. It's very deceptive, and I bet it fooled a bunch of people, because I will admit it's a good Photoshop, and it fooled me. But the thing is, even if it wasn't a Photoshop, I'd still be skeptical of this animal. Like, how does it keep balance or support such a long neck with the pressures of gravity? It's almost entirely unsupported by really anything. What, did this tortoise evolve on Mars where the gravitational pull is weaker? What evolutionary advantage does such a long neck give? It certainly wouldn't fit inside that shell, making the shell, well, absolutely useless in protecting such a vulnerable appendage. The image would raise way more questions than answers, and thankfully we can prove that this is nothing more than an outright fabrication. Case closed. Hey guys, sorry for such a short video. I've been very busy lately with studies and work. Shorter videos like this allow me to release more videos more often. And next time I'll give you a longer, more in-depth video on a real super long neck. Tandy Strophius. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Oh, that's